Well, that's the problem. We have too much to fish. We're sitting here doing this interview and I want to be in Lower Canyon, catch that big fish because I know I have this afternoon and I have geese both sides and I want to go to Lower Canyon, Upper Canyon, tail of Upper Canyon and, and Lower Canyon. There's so many good places to fish. And, and it's like when, when God made those pools, he, he, he was thinking about us on making places where you get that perfect drift and the per perfect place for big fish just to rest and there's so many good places here we go yeah shit that's far down <laughs> i'll try to back this guy up there we go. Oh, it's fast water. Took the fly right on the lip. <laughs> Very far down. <laughs> I'm doing 40 pound test. Because here never know if it's 40 or 50 pounds. You ready? Try it again. Woo! <laughs> it didn't like you. <laughs> Up and down again. There we go. You can see it's well hooked. Right in the corner. Because of the good belly. That's better. Here we go. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I think if you look into Russia and the way that Russians are taking care of the rivers, it's, it's embarrassing for us Scandis because they do it so much better than we do in Scandinavia. And this Atlantic Salmon Reserve, it's, it's been a reserve. It is a reserve for these fantastic fish. It's, the fish are in the focus. It's not the fishermen, it's the, it's the species itself. And uh, that's the only way to do this in a long time um, for, for, for the future, so to say. Look at this fantastic fish. Look at this fish now, how it will take off. Thanks for the dance. <laughs> See you again. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is. You you start fishing one pool and you catch one and you you catch another one and you get a few pools and you want to change your flies and you change fly. Maybe you go on a dry fly. You you test different things and hours just flying away from you. And you you keep on moving down and you fish maybe one or two pools. And then the day is over and you still have five, six more pools that you could have fished. So, but that's luxury. It's a luxury problem. You have to pick the very best. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> right in the waves. Hey, very good. Green is so good on both Kalovka and especially maybe on the Litsa. These fish just love green. This has got a green turbo disc. Good flight. The guides are, are very good. Some of them are, are good friends to me now after all these years. And uh, um, the best thing with the guides is that they are always trying to do the best for you. Even if it's snowing or raining or 
or the sun is shining, no matter what's happening, if the fish is good or the fish is not as good, it will give you their smile and their best, all their knowledge and all the, the best. And of course they're knowledgeable. I mean, they've been, most of the guys been here 10 years and they fished 10 full seasons here. They know every stone. You have to be smart to listen to them. Again, no, that's a little pull. Here we go, one more. I got one. Come on, grab it. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Dream pool. The numbers here are. Um, I mean, a week like this is crazy. You shouldn't really talk about numbers that way, but but um, I've had what did we we looked into it. I think I had 29 fish now for three days. Some on dries, some on on floating flies, some on deep down, and some big, some small. Lots of fish in the high teens and and, and low twenties. Lost the 30 first day. Um, gonna get it 40 this afternoon. <laughs> You should know why you do this. You do this because you love it and because, because it's fun and not look into numbers or, uh, I mean, you get more into how to catch those fish. And I have, I have places on these rivers that I just love and I know some of the lies. I want to catch a fish in that spot. Maybe I want to do it on a bomber or I want to do it on a certain fly or uh, it's, it's like, it's like an addiction. You, you want to do this, this is chances to test new new stuff and to do things in maybe not the easiest way because the rivers are so full of fish. That's what, all, what it all comes down to. I mean, a, a happy summer fisherman is not always the guy that catches much, most fish. And, and a great day's fishing can be a, a day without any fish. But if the fish are there and you can crack the code on, and you can do it right, these rivers with the amount of fish here and the character of these rivers. If you crack the code and do it right, you're being greatly rewarded because you can get many fish and big fish and, and good fights. Look at this fast running water. I mean, it's a, a, a good sized fish here is gonna put up a good battle for you. Good one from the Litsa Dream Pool. <laughs> Tagged and full of sea lice. Back to spawn. Thank you, Litsa. I, I mean, that's, there's a lot of rivers on the Kola Peninsula. I fished a few of them. And, um, and the rumor first was that, that on the Kola Peninsula, there were smaller fish than, than elsewhere, which is a lie. And I caught several 30 pounders. It's like you fish a week here and it's, it's uh, you know you're gonna get a chance or two or three to land a 30 pounder during a week. Uh, there's so many of them. Uh, but to hook that big fish and to land it, that's two different things, you know. It's, it's not the easiest river to, to land a big fish in. The reason is that, that uh, there's not as many 60 or 50 or 60 pounders caught here is this, these rivers are a lot tougher. We hook those fish here, but to land a 50, 60 pound fish on the Litza, you have to have all the skill in the world and you also have to have a bit of luck. Every year those fish are being hooked, but to land them, that's a different story. Later on in the season when water warms up and, and the fish will, before the fish will go up the falls, this will be just steaming with fish and and to, to fish a bomber through here when the water is a bit warmer when they are more eager to come to the bomber it's, it's just it's just fantastic it's fantastic today but that's even worse I mean that's that's dry dry fly heaven for salmon angler Let's <laughs> go.
close, Mike. <laughs> I think everything is improving, uh, um, but I also think a lot of the other camps and all, all other rivers, they will now look at the Atlantic Salmon Reserve and see what's what's being done here. And everybody wants to, to copy this. Everybody wants to do what's been done here because it's been very successful. It's, it's pretty obvious. It's the same all over the world, in Scotland, Canada, in Norway. I mean, this is what we all are dreaming about. Right on the surface. 20 pounder. We try to handle them carefully with gloves and keep the fish in the water. A few photos, that's it. Then we we'll release them and they'll spawn and make this paradise stay forever. Okay? Yeah. Is that good, Justin? That's good. Which means as long as, as uh, the f there's no fishing in sea, and as long as this conservation can go on, these stocks will improve even more. And it's 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 just very nice to see a place where man is doing what we're taking care of something that we love in the right way.